Hello there and welcome to this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. Well last week we took a look at the rainfall distribution across the UK throughout June. This week we're going to take a look at what impact that's had on the soil moisture across the British Isles as well. So this is the information from the latest update uh, of soil moisture from the Cosmos UK network. Um, so you can see here a number of sites showing soil moisture um, across the British Isles. Many northern areas in these red colours, so that's drier than normal, some exceptionally drier than normal and that comes on the back of a pretty dry June. If you remember from last week we saw below average rainfall across many parts of northern um, and western Britain um, and into Ireland as well. Uh, further south there's been a lot of heavy rainfall around for the last couple of weeks. Came on, on the back of a, a initially dry June but then things turned a lot more unsettled as we moved into the second half of the month. And these blue colours here showing the soils much wetter than normal. Some of these, these stations recording soils exceptionally wetter than normal for the time of year. So a real contrast between the north where things are drier and into the south where there's a lot of, been a lot of wet weather around and that's had an impact on the soil moisture. So what have we got in store for the next couple of days? This is the jet stream. We've got this broad area of low pressure out to the west of us through Tuesday, this broad trough. Um, and as we go through into Wednesday, that's gonna begin to clear to the east. Still, still a marked trough over uh, the eastern half of the UK through uh, Wednesday. We do get this brief ridge come through for Thursday before low pressure pushes another little area of rain um, along the channel um, through Friday. Um, and then into the weekend we've got this broader area of low pressure pushing through which is going to extend some further unsettled weather um, into us for the weekend and into the early part of next week. So looking at that in a little bit more detail, this is Tuesday, we saw this broad area of low pressure across the UK with various little low centres bringing areas of showery rain, some quite heavy and thundery showers as well in places through Tuesday. Um, as we go into Wednesday, that's going to move away to the northeast. Still going to bring a fairly decent scattering of showers through Wednesday afternoon, as you can see here, particularly across eastern parts where there could be some heavy and again thundery showers, so worth keeping an eye out uh, for those if you're in the east. Further west, we've got this ridge of high pressure just building in. Um, so by the end of the day, most of these showers have eased down as they have further east as well. Um, but they generally will be that bit more isolated across Ireland and Western Britain. So into Thursday, this low pressure here slowly begins to, to kind of move to the northeast and fill. We have this broad ridging coming in from the west. There still will be a few scattered showers in places on Thursday afternoon, as indeed there will be on Friday afternoon as well. So not completely dry. Thursday is probably the driest day when those showers will be that bit more isolated, but any shower could still be heavy. There could be the odd rumble of thunder around as well. So a mixture of sunny spells and scattered showers for Thursday and Friday, but many places could end up uh, staying dry both days. It just will be that bit hit and miss. You can also see through Friday this little little trough running an area of low pressure to the southwest. Um, could be that this extends a little bit further more uh, into parts of Ireland, Wales, southwest England. So one to keep an eye on for Friday if you're down in that neck of the woods that there could be a bit of a longer spell of rain pushing through Friday night and through Saturday. Before that then runs along the channel through Saturday uh, bringing some spells of rain um, for southern and then perhaps even into southeastern England before then we get another widespread scattering of sunny spells and showers for the afternoon on Saturday. So a relatively unsettled week, a lot of changeable weather around, a lot of this weather is going to be quite showery so quite hit and miss as to whether you catch the heavier stuff or not. There will be a lot of warm feeling sunshine in between but generally there is the risk of showers for most places on most days. Now a lot of you guys are still ringing about spraying um, and the potential for spraying with light winds and no showers and, and really over the next couple of days, uh, particularly Wednesday, it's going to be quite tricky, it's still quite a breeze uh, for many places. As we go into Thursday, Friday, that ridging is going to bring more opportunities. You can see these lighter winds giving more in the way of, of opportunities for spraying, these green colours showing ideal spraying conditions. The, the issue is really is going to be dodging the showers, particularly on, on Friday and Thursday, there's going to be a lot of gaps in those showers, so it may be that you get two or three hours completely dry, which is, is just enough to get something done, but it is worth just keeping an eye on the forecast. There is going to be the risk of showers, um, so don't get caught out by those. Now as we move towards the end of the weekend and into the early part of next week, that low pressure that we talked about that was out here in the Atlantic uh, during Friday, Saturday is going to be, continue to nudge eastwards. You can see by Sunday midday that's just to the west of the UK bringing, pushing this band of frontal rain followed by a, a scattering of showers 
through Sunday. And into the early part of next week, that's going to continue to shift eastwards, bringing broadly unsettled weather through Monday and Tuesday as well. So the best way of staying on top of the forecast and the chance of catching showers, especially if you're after going out and getting some spraying, is to speak directly to one of our forecasters. They're available every day from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. on 09065 777675. A course charge at £1.55 a minute plus any network access charges. And they'll be able to talk you through any uncertainty in the forecast, the guidance from the latest models, how likely you are of catching a shower and so forth. So any question that you need regarding the weather, feel free to give them a call. Now, looking beyond uh, next, beyond the weekend and into the following part of next week, it does look like things might turn a little bit more settled. So the early part of this week, likely still to see unsettled conditions um, over the, the UK. But as we go towards the end of the week, you can see high pressure beginning to build in. So things turning a little bit more settled. We've got low pressure down to the southeast. Um, and that generally means that rainfall wise, we're going to see a lot of dry weather around for these western parts into Scandinavia and then indeed further east as well with high pressure generally uh, ridging in. So the UK by the end of the week seeing below average rainfall. We do have this area in the central parts of Europe where there's a lot of unsettled weather around above average rainfall as that area of low pressure continues to bring a few showers or spells of rain. So wetter in the central parts but elsewhere uh, generally drier than you'd expect. Uh, now this graph here shows the chance of catching a dry day based on a number of different model runs um, and how likely certain scenarios are. So you can see these green colours here showing a low chance of, of seeing a dry day for most of the rest of this week, the weekend and into the early part of next week. It is quite variable in places due to the hit and miss nature of these showers but Thursday is being identified as, as the day where the showers are that bit less likely, a bit more isolated. Um, as we mentioned earlier, but broadly there is the risk of showers through the end of this week into the weekend and through into Monday and Tuesday, so the early part of next week. And then as we just mentioned after that, seeing something a little bit more settled. So these brown colours showing a, a medium high or very high chance of, of there being a dry day. So it's not going to be completely dry, you can see there's a lot of white colours in here. So still the risk of seeing a few showers, but generally much drier conditions, everything turning a little bit more settled. Um, in the south. These, this block here of green of, of western Scotland, northwest England, parts of Ireland, looks like things are going to stay a little bit more unsettled there. Still the risk of showers and, and not a huge amount of, of dry weather um, around as well. Whereas eastern Scotland, you can see on the top row here, as with the south, is generally going to be that bit drier with high pressure uh, ridging in. So a shift to something more settled in the south um, by the end of next week, but staying that bit more settled in the north. Now looking a bit further ahead, this is the week beginning at the 19th of July. Um, this is the mean pressure anomaly and you can see across much of northern Europe these red colours here showing above average pressure. So generally drier than you'd expect uh, for the time of year, below average rainfall across much of northern Europe. These blue colours here showing that things might be that bit more unsettled around the Mediterranean and across southern Europe. So above average rainfall in some of these areas but the driest weather will, will likely be in the north. And with that high pressure building in, the jet stream lifts that bit further north, we see some warmer southerly air come in. So broadly by this point, temperatures across Europe are going to be above average for most places, particularly pronounced in Scandinavia and parts of northeast Europe, but elsewhere as well, um, above average temperatures. Now looking into the last week of July and just nudging into the first week of August, we see a similar pattern really, high pressure ridging across northern parts of Europe, parts of the UK, some of these central areas, so below average rainfall there, but further south things are a little bit more unsettled, some places seeing above average rainfall um, with showers, longer spells of rain developing in places. So a north-south split across Europe for the last couple of weeks of July, but into this last week as well temperatures will still tend to be above average as the jet stream stays. Uh, to the north. So to summarise for the UK, remain unsettled and showery for the rest of this week, over the weekend and into the early part of next week, but it does look like things will turn a bit more unsettled then as we go to the end of next week and then into the following couple of weeks of July with things turning a bit more settled as high pressure builds in and in the short term it's relatively cool but um, as the high pressure builds in and the jet stream lifts north looks like we might see some warmer temperatures around for most places. So thanks for watching this week's video. As ever, you can keep up to date with the day-to-day -day forecast for the UK and East Anglia on our social media. Thanks for watching.